Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a video that I've not filmed for a little while and that's a misguided haul. So I decided to go on misguided and get a few little autumn bits. I noticed they'd updated their website. Um, but sorry, but what is this weather about? It's the UK now and it's hot. I'm trying to go into full autumn mode. I'm buying coats, jackets, jumpers, knitwear, and then it's 25 degrees outside, rude. But here we are, we're persevering, we're pushing through. So I just thought I'd show you a few bits that I picked up. Not gonna lie, a couple of the bits I was a bit like, hmm. I wasn't even gonna film this haul because I thought I'm not in love with everything. However, there are some things that I really, really like and I think you'd like them as well if you're into my kind of style. So I thought I'd film it anyway and show you what I did pick up because I think at the same time, as much as I like showing you what I do like and what I do recommend to buy, sometimes I do think it's worth telling you what's worth not spending your money on. So I'm just going to jump right in and show you what I got from this guy I did. So first up, I'm just going to go in with my absolute favourite item that I bought. It is the highlight of the entire haul. I love these types of coats. They're probably one of my favourite type of coats to wear. And it's an aviator jacket. And how, I'm sorry, but this one is just stunning. It's got the buckle detail around the bottom. It's got all the zips detail. It's got just the little bit of faux um, like fleece around the collar. I did oversize in this and I got this in a size 12. Um, I think aviator jackets look so much more elegant and so much more expensive if you get them oversized. They're supposed to look big. They're supposed to look twice as big as you are. You know, so don't try and get one of these to be all fitted. You won't be able to move in it if it's too fitted. Some of them can be quite restricting on the arms. They are very thick. They are very, very warm, which is why I love them. Not in 25 degree heat right now, but usually I love them. It is really good quality for the price. I'll link everything in the description box below. I have a feeling this is going to sell out very, very quickly because, as I said, it is a very, very nice jacket for the price. But yeah, I feel like everyone needs an aviator jacket in their life. And Miss Guy did absolutely killed it with this one. Okay, next up, and I got some blue skinny jeans. So here they are on camera. And at the bottom, if I hold them up, you can see they've got this slightly, hold them there, like ripped detail. And they're in this gorgeous like bleach wash denim colour. Miss Guy did for their jeans are just an absolute... Not even guilty pleasure, I love misguided jeans. I feel like they fit really, really nicely. They're a really, really decent price. They always have loads of different styles. And I really like the fact that they don't just do standard, you know, size 8, 10, 12. They do different leg lengths. So you can get a regular leg length, long leg length. So I really like that. I am, I mean, I say I'm tall. Some people have said 5 foot 8 isn't tall. Um, I may not be tall to some people, but... I am mostly leg, so my legs are quite long, so I struggle finding jeans a really good length. These are good. If you have long legs, these are your best friend. So these are from the tall range, they're size 8, but obviously they are tall, so they are long. Uh, they did do these in like a regular length as well, in the regular sizing, but I just love misguided for the fact that they do this range because it means I don't struggle with jeans. Um, the waist, they fit really nicely, um, they're not too tight, they don't feel too restricting, I still feel like I could go out and eat a nice spag bowl for dinner in these and not feel like I was going to throw up after one mouthful. So they do have a little bit of give around the waist. They're not like super stretchy, do you know what I mean? But they do have that give. They're not they're not like a pair of stiff Levi jeans. And I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them. Okay, next up, and this I was a little bit disappointed with. It's a grey blazer, um, which on the website looked amazing. I loved how it was styled. I would have styled it very, very similar, so over a white shirt dress, some black chunky boots, and I thought it looked absolutely unreal online. And to look at on camera, it might look okay, but I was a bit let down with this, I'm not going to lie. I really don't like the material of it, it's not my cup of tea at all. Um, I thought it was going to be like a normal blazer material and look quite kind of boyfriend style, quite vintage, oversized, that kind of vibe, but, but it kind of just looks like the kind of blazer you'd pull out of your boyfriend's wardrobe, like something he would have wore to a wedding or a prom, does that make sense? It's that weird, I'm not sure what the material is, it's almost like a felt material, if that makes sense. It's just weird, it's, it's really just something that I can picture a man going to a wedding in. I think it's kind of like a mashup between 
a wool coat and a blazer. I think that's the vibe. Um, but I don't know, maybe it's the colour, it's throwing me off. I'm just, I'm not the biggest fan of the material. However, if you like that kind of material or, you know, that's not a problem for you, I do think the size and the cut of the blazer is really nice. So yeah, it's not my favourite item, but I will say for the cut of it and if you can get past that material, it is a really decent piece. I would say oversized though, I got this in a 12. So I would recommend doing the same, do size up if you do decide to go for it. Next up, and just a classic, honestly, from Misguided, it is a really long black um, duster coat. It is just, the material is lovely. It's not the thickest of coats. This isn't going to keep you warm in the snow, but I don't think that's quite on our worry list right now, so I think you're okay. But it is thin, it is more of an autumn coat, but I really love duster coats. I feel like they look really smart, really formal really sophisticated and like you've tried they look they just dress up an outfit you can put them on a very simple t-shirt and jeans and just look really really put together and i don't have like a long smart black coat like this i have one in like a camel color which i wear to death so i thought why not add a black one to the collection I live in black clothes, so I'll definitely get my wear out of it. Really, really good length. It does have slits down the side as well. Um, and I did oversize in this. Again, if you want it to fit the way that um, it fits on me, I'm usually a size 8. I got this in a size 12. So if you do prefer things to fit a bit bigger and slouchy, definitely size up. I just feel like when you oversize in anything can make it look a bit more slouchy. It just gives it that bit more of like an expensive look. I do tend to oversize in most of my things that I buy. But I was really impressed with this. And I know that I'm going to... It's going to be one of those coats as well. I think if I was still working in my last job, this would have been a coat that I would have just thrown on every single day to work, going into the office. Just because it's really small and it's black, so you can wear it with everything and you're not going to look weird. So, yeah. Really nice black duster coat. Okay, next up, and just moving on to a pair of boots. I love big chunky boots, if you haven't guessed already. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, you'll know that I was in chunky boots in August. I just couldn't wait. I absolutely love them. So I went for these from Misguided. They're almost like a bit of like a short Wellington boot meets riding boot meets Timberland boot. Do you know what I mean? They've got the, re if I just put, let's just put one down. See you later. Did you hear that thud? Oh my god. Good job Desi wasn't under there. It would have killed her. So we've got the big chunky... I'm going to hold it in front of my top. There we go. So we can actually see it. Big chunky sole. They've got kind of like the riding boot detail here. Really like the little bit of a toggle here. Like a riding boot. And they've also got a zip up the inside. If you actually do the zip up right. There you go. And they've got the zip really love these boots but the only thing the only little blah, 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 thing that just key, i love them love how they look but when they're on they're not tight around my leg i want chunky boots that are going to cling to my leg and as i said that the reason i've said they're a little bit of like a wellington boot is they have that gap in between your leg and the boot so when you walk it's kind of going like this on your leg and i don't like it i feel like it just makes your feet look bigger and i don't need my feet to look bigger i'm probably not going to send them back though because I'll, i probably will get wear out of them and i actually think if you took mom jeans into these so if you go for that really kind of 90s baggy jeans tucked into boots kind of style then they'll work because there's room. But yeah, they're just not as flattering on my leg as I'd want them to be. However, really good boot, really good price. So if you're on the market for a pair of boots like this, I do recommend these from Misguided. Okay, next up, and it's another pair of mom jeans from Misguided. And nothing bad to say about these ones. Really, really like them. reason I bought these was they almost look like my Topshop jeans that I get asked a lot about. So... These are like bleach wash denim, my absolute fave. They've got a little rip at the knee. As you can see here, I've actually turned them up. So I have wore these already, um, but I've, t I've just rolled the bottoms up. I tend to do that on mom jeans if I'm wearing trainers with them. Just feel like it's more flattering. So I have rolled the bottoms up on these. They don't come like this. But these really, really remind me of my Topshop uh, mom jeans. And every time I wear them on my Instagram, honestly, I'll get flooded with messages and Topshop just never have them in stock I don't even think they're online now which is really annoying and then I saw these and thought actually they're so so similar 
Um, and the fit is very similar as well. So I think these are so, so good. Really just simple pair of mom jeans, to be honest. Easy to style, easy to wear, and just, just a good item to have in your wardrobe. And also I got a second pair of shoes. I went for these black, flat, like, um, loafers but they are in a mule style and honestly these kind of reminded me of the gucci ones that i know a lot of people have i think they're a really good shoe to have you know for smart or for work and that sort of thing sometimes you want to wear flat shoes but you can't always wear your chunky boots and things but i thought these paired with some black cigarette trousers white shirt black bag just a really good smart pair of shoes to have some i really really like wearing kind of workwear outfits sometimes I just feel really put together and nice in them. So I didn't have any like mules in my wardrobe. I literally live in chunky trainers or chunky boots. There's no in between. However, I thought, right, when I need to look a bit more smart, a bit more formal, these will do the job. So if you do need a new pair of shoes for work, I would recommend getting these. Right, last job. And this was just a bit of fun because... You know me, I like graphic tees, I like things with Disney on, I just like things that are a little bit fun sometimes and I had this grey Looney Tunes jumper, I mean I just think it's so so cute, obviously it's got Bugs Bunny on it, I bought it in a size M so slightly, it, it was described as oversized on the website, the medium is just the right size, honestly just a fun jumper to wear in autumn to be honest. I thought paired with the blue skinny jeans, it just looked really cute. White chunky trainers, you know, just a simple throw on casual jumper and just a bit of fun with Looney Tunes on it. And that is everything guys, I've just had to like twizzle my necklace round. How long has my necklace had the chain dangling down here? If that's been dangling down all through this video, it's going to really annoy me when I'm editing it. Oh well, I've just brought it back to normal. So anyway, I hope you like this haul. As I said, there were some bits in here that I loved. My favourite was the aviator jacket, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to live in this. I can't wait to wear it. I can't wait till it's cold enough to wear it. As I said, there's a few bits in there that mm, weren't so great, in my opinion. But I think it's still important to include them because it's not worth spending your money on, in my personal opinion. But I hope you've enjoyed the haul and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!